One of the things that really helped me to get through this entire process was the support that I got from my family, from my friends, my son, just overall the support system that I had around me definitely helped me to get through this entire ordeal from start up until now. State your name and age. My name is Omisha Charles. I am 34 years old. I was diagnosed at age 34 at stage four the 5th of April, 2020. My cancer was detected after doing a back examination. I had extensive back pain for a while and I went to Mount St. John to do a checkup on my back. And as a result of the damage that they noticed with my spine, they decided to do a breast examination. They found a small lump, which they later did a biopsy of and realized that that lump was malignant. My initial reaction after hearing that I had cancer, uh, I was, I feel like I was a bit numb at first. I didn't initially have a, 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 a I didn't initially have a reaction. I just really wanted to find out what it is that we could do to try to deal with the situation going forward. I think the, the reaction came on more so when he explained to me that it was stage four and at that point it was incurable after i started to think about my son my family that's when i started to feel really overwhelmed and the sadness came on but but i was hopeful my doctors ensured me that they would work with me with a treatment plan that would work they ensured um, me that things would be okay and so in that moment I was I was fine for then. I do not have any family history of breast cancer. When I was first diagnosed my treatment process consisted of rounds of um, radiation at the cancer center. I did radiation for two weeks then after that I started to do chemotherapy via pills. I also do an injection to my stomach monthly and I also do bone treatment as well for the damage that was done in my spine. The most difficult part of my treatment was not doing the actual treatment but actually realizing that as a result of the treatment plan that was designed for me that I will no longer be able to have children. Um, I don't necessarily have complications from my treatment. One of the things that really helped me to get through this entire process was the support that I got from my family, from my friends, my son. Just overall, the support system that I had around me definitely helped me to get through this entire ordeal from start up until now. I was never really worried about sharing my diagnosis with my friends or family. I knew that I would have gotten the support that I needed from them. I knew that it would not have affected my relationship with anyone and I knew that they would have been there for me and supported me throughout the entire ordeal and so I, th I actually think that it was important to share with them, to make them aware and to share with others as well too so persons can be inspired, they can be aware of what's happening and they'll be able to deal with similar situations as well. Fortunately for me, I have not had any bad reactions to my chemo treatment um, so far. Most of the times I would feel nauseous. There are times where I would have um, a little bit of fatigue and my appetite would go but on a whole on most days I'm feeling pretty okay in terms of how uh, chemo treatment or cancer has affected my lifestyle I have uh, been unable to work from since April as a result of the spinal compression that I had I was unable to walk initially I also had a dislocation in my right shoulder so I have very limited movement in my right shoulder and I also get really bad hot flashes from time to time but for now I am I'm walking more now my leg is a lot better my shoulder is still a lot better as well I have a son he's two years old initially I was 
because of the limitations with my shoulder and the issues that I had with my back, it was very difficult to be able to deal with him. I have since gotten a lot of assistance from my mother. I was not able to lift him, to hold him, and um, that was a really difficult period for me. But now my, my back is a lot better because of the treatment that I've been doing. My shoulder, although not fully, fully recovered, is a lot better. And it's just been a pleasure to be able to deal with him, to take him to school, to pick him up, to lift him up like I, like I could before. Overall, my support system has been amazing. My core circle of friends, my family, my mom, my sisters, they have really been amazing. They have stepped in on so many occasions to help me, to be there for me. On days when I could not be there for myself, my mother especially has gone above and beyond to do everything to make life so much easier for me and I am just so thankful. I think overall that has been the most um, touching, impactful thing throughout this ordeal for me. Just the love and support, not only from family and friends, but from my co-workers from strangers who would have heard from persons on social media platforms. The amount of outpouring of love and support that I've gotten from persons have been truly overwhelming and I am absolutely grateful. Even the nurses, the doctors at the Oncology Center, everybody, everybody has just been so supportive and encouraging and that I'm really grateful and thankful for that. No, I don't mind, you know, don't think you're limiting because of me or I really want to get what's your face. <laughs> what needs to be. I don't know, I'm going to bring tissue. <laughs> when I think about the one thing that helps me to really get through this entire situation, when I think about that one driving force, that one thing that motivates me every day to get up, to fight, to get through treatments, it, it would have to be my son. He helps me to focus a lot on life, on living, on fighting, just to be there for him, to be able to see him become his fullest potential to who he has been ordained to be. And I think that is what really gives me that extra push to make it to fight. I wake up every day very positive, very happy. Just to be able to, to see another day is truly a gift and I am very, very grateful for that. Although I am still going through treatments, I am confident that I will definitely beat this. I am confident that I will get through this situation. I am confident that everything will work out in my favor. I am confident in the treatment plan that was outlined by um, my doctors at oncology and that everything will work. Um, in terms of advice that I have for, for other females, I think I would like to just let them know that listen to your body, that's first. Listen to your body, make yourself a priority. A lot of times we get so consumed with everything around us with work, with relationships, with, with family, and we don't take the time out to take care of ourselves. It's not that I thought I could not get breast cancer. I just did not think that at my age, that breast cancer was something that I had to specifically look out for in my, in my health. I, um, and I think that's, that's something I would really like to encourage other women, especially in my age, in your 30s, breast cancer is becoming increasingly prevalent among 30-year-olds now. Just include it in your overall checkups. Get tested, just like you would for any other examination. It's important that as women that we really get a full examination. Make yourself a priority. Find time for yourself. Think about your health. I mean, if you're not here, or you're not healthy for yourself, then you can't be here healthy for anybody else or for anything else. And so it is very important that you take that time out for yourself.
get your checkups take care of your body don't get consumed with everything around you and forget to to to, to take care of yourself sorry that's that's it i don't know what else to say i don't know what else to say you sure there's nothing else that i could see that you could put in Your truth, your story, yeah. Somewhat. Yeah.